Later today, we're heading over to a friend's house and she's been sweet enough to incubate some eggs for us. So we're really excited to pick up chicks today. We are prepping for that, cleaning out our garage and getting a box ready. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of the process of um, what it's like to get little baby chicks. So here's some of the chicks we're getting. I'm so excited to finally bring them home. My friend who hatched them for us sent me this footage. They're all different breeds and some of them are actually hatched six days apart from each other. So here's our chicks in our box. We just took them home in a box like this from our friend's house. We've got a little heating plate in there. That's super important. We have a lot to learn about how to take care of chicks. We have two chickens right now, but we want to add to our flock. So we've got our heating plate and our food in there and Arlen's checking the chicks out. We have 13 chicks in all, different breeds, and like I said, they're six days apart. So some of them look like a little fluff ball right now, and some of them are already starting to get their feathers. But we are transferring the chicks right now from a smaller box that they stayed in for just a couple of days until we could build a bigger, we just basically took two large boxes that we got and we put them together and we put a hole through the middle there so they can go from side to side. And obviously you're gonna need your chick starter feed. So we've got that in our little feeder and you do wanna offer them some grit too. So we have that as well. And we have our little waterer. We also ended up putting a heat lamp there just for some extra heat in our house. It can get a little drafty and cold. So it puts out a little bit more heat and we're just transferring all the chicks. Wow, what beautiful feathers they're getting. Now, how old do you think they are right now? Um, I think this one's about like a week or so. You know, it might be the two week olds yeah. because some of ours were a week older, six days older than the other ones. So that one looks like a big one, doesn't it? Yeah. Good, maybe you can grab one of the smaller ones and show me what the smaller ones look like. Can you grab one of those baby? And it's, it's so interesting because you can see some of the chicks that are quite big, quite tall. And those ones you can tell are gonna be roosters. But that one, that looks like a, maybe a week old. It's a little over a week. These little precious baby chicks, and they're still getting their, they're getting their feathers now too. This is Aren't the they? newborn. Look how beautiful. It's a baby. What beautiful chickens. So after our chicks are noticeably different sizes at this point, between three and four weeks old, um, we noticed as we came out one morning, unfortunately, that one of our baby chicks had passed away and it was one of the very smallest of the chicks. So we soon realized that because of the size difference and the age difference, the bigger ones, as such as this one, were squishing the smaller ones, especially as they were probably trying to get to the waterer. So that's a big incentive for us to move the bigger ones out to a separate brooder and we're gonna keep the smaller chicks in here. So we ended up actually losing two chicks in all. So if I could recommend anything, I would say try to have your chicks be the same age or separate your chicks that are different ages. It was such a blessing. My husband this year um, 
worked so hard on our chicken coop. We have always wanted to have an amazing large, really a hen house, it's more than a chicken coop, it's a hen house. So I'm heading over there right now, I'm gonna show you guys. It's still a work in progress. We're still painting the coop and all those things, but we've really sealed it up pretty nice. Jordy did a great job with that. He put a roof on and we've got enough space in there. We're hoping to get about up to 30 chickens this year. So let me show you guys what that's gonna look like. So here we have just a small pen. This is gonna, we're definitely gonna be enlarging this pen area here uh, pretty soon actually. But we just have our chicken wire here set up with our pen and we do a lot of the compost. We throw it down here. We're trying to create a good compost for our garden with some of the soil here. And here's our chicken. Got this cute Lulu here. She's been amazingly putting out eggs for us right now, um, even in cold. And then we've got Copper, our amazing rooster. He is just a sweetheart. Just got their food set up there, but we're gonna set up a brooder out here for them. We just have a few nesting boxes. We're still gonna add more nesting boxes up there, but we have tons of room in here so we can fit a lot of nesting boxes and a lot of chickens. So as you can see, we have our new brooder box set up here. Uh, Jordy and the girls worked so hard last night to set this brooder box up out here. We have our heat lamp and they just took two boards and made a little box out of it. We have our bedding down and our food and grit and uh, water system. And now they have tons of room to spread out. We don't have to worry about them flying out of the box. <laughs> and we have a little heater over here for the other chicks. So everything should be fine and dandy now. We got started with chickens this year, first time after wanting to do it for so long. And a friend of ours was so nice. She brought three hens and one rooster to get our flock started. So we have, we had enjoyed their super nutritious eggs this fall and summer. And then into the winter here, they haven't um, been laying so much. And unfortunately there was one night where um, as many of you chicken people know, um, if they don't get put up for the night, the predators come. So we live out in the country and there's definitely a lot of predators here. So unfortunately one night they were two of the hens under the hen house and they got taken by something. I'm not exactly sure what. So that brought our flock down. So we're just trying to rebuild our flock right now. And like I said, hopefully we're going to get up to 30 chickens this year. I think that's our goal so that we have enough to even um, give away every week and also to sell um, chicken eggs and then have more than enough for our family too. I have just loved the process of having chickens because they are so nutritious, especially when they are, you know, foraging and, and looking for, um, you know, worms and everything outside. You can tell a definite difference of the way that the yolks look you know, for the ones that are mainly green fed and then the ones that are out looking outside for their food. It's been pretty amazing knowing that you're getting really good nutrition. So that's kind of our main reason for doing chickens. And, and the girls have loved having chickens and it's just kind of fun having them around. So leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys who, who's watching this video. Um, do you have chickens? Are you looking to get chickens? L tell me a little bit about yourself. Join in on the conversation here. Uh, if you guys have any tips or suggestions for me too, since we're, like I said, we are somewhat newbies to some of these homestead type stuff. But that's our goal is to have a steady supply of eggs. So leave me a comment down in the description and please give me a like and hopefully subscribe if you're interested in following along on our journey of homesteading. And I hope to show you some more progress of how the chicks are doing in the coming weeks. Bye.